Okay, so welcome to chapter f or part five. Uh, this is the part on curve fitting. So we skipped cha chapter or, or not chapter, excuse me, part four on optimization, and we move to part five on curve fitting. Uh, curve fitting. We're, we're, there's basically three topics that we're going to hit on on curve fitting. The first one is regression. Regression. The second one is. Um, interpolation interpolation and the third one is um, Fourier approximation okay so getting into this um, let's just look first at these three problems briefly so first we have regression. Uh, regression is this problem where we have some data. So let's let's put up an axis. So we have some data, and we have some overall behavior of this data. And uh, to start out with, let's say the overall behavior of this data is linear. Okay, but but we have noise in our measurement, and so. When we when we fit, uh, what we have to do then is fit a lower order curve, like this line, to the data. It, it can't go through all the data points. We have many more data points uh, than that that line could possibly go through. That is the case. If we we're to write out these equations, as we'll see, uh, we're going to have more equations than unknowns. It's basically a problem of too much data okay or too much data so uh, because we have too much data I mean this is actually a good thing uh, we, we like this problem uh, but because we have too much data we have to reduce the data down to simplify it down to this the, all this data we simplify down uh, to this line basically and, and that's the problem of regression okay Okay, the second problem uh, that we're going to look at is interpolation. Now, interpolation is a little bit of a different situation than regression. In interpolation, we have uh, some data points. Let's say this data point, this data point, and this data point. And instead of having too much data, we have just the right amount of data. And we're going to fit a curve between these points. And so, in terms of data, just right whoops just right I'll put data just right how about that data just right okay so we have just the right amount of data and we're gonna fit through all of these points now we're both we're going to do both the problems of of just fitting simply uh, a, li a line or, or, a, or a quadratic to the data. Uh, that's the simple situation. And we're also going to do uh, splines where splines are this problem where we have uh, so let's say we have our axis here like I drew before and then we have some data points um, and they sort of move all around um, but rather than fit a high order polynomial what we want to do is sort of smoothly fit a curve that that goes through all of these lines okay so that problem that is splines splines is is a method of interpolation because we are going through all the points so again to rehack, recap here, just the last two items, the difference between interpolation and uh, regression is that regression, you have too much data, you're trying to reduce it and simplify the behavior of what's going on. You don't go through all the data points in regression. Uh, in contrast with interpolation, uh, you actually do go through all of the data points exactly, whether we're uh, fitting uh, a curve that has the same order of the n as the number of data points so the order of the curve is the same as the number of data points or if we're fitting say uh, a quadratic 
or cubic, let's say cubic splines um, to these uh, to these data points, and so it smoothly moves through the data points, but uh, it's not just a simple uh, polynomial function uh, for for all time. So that's the first two problems. All right. So the third item here is Fourier approximation. And so the basic idea behind that is we have some function. Uh, so let's say we have a function and it behaves something like this. Well, any function, and this works especially well for periodic functions, although uh, it can be done with any function, but for, per for, for periodic functions we like this. Uh, what we can do is we can fit uh, a series of sines and cosines and it's going to fit, and I'm not an artist here, but with the series of sines and cosines we can fit, we can make an approximate fit uh, to this uh, data and so that's Fourier approximation. Again the, the, the concept uh, goes together uh, because we're, we're taking one function and uh, in a way simplifying it using using different functions to represent it in this case sines and cosines so that's the third topic that we're going to cover in this part